Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Alex Tech Works. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the Logitech MX Master 3 and I'm going to be running through a little bit of a long term review um, about this mouse. I've been using it for about three years now, so it's fair to say I've used it to its full capabilities, used all the different features, and really got to know my way around this particular mouse. So I'm just going to share my thoughts. What would really help me out is if you could subscribe to my channel, hit that like button below, and follow me over on Instagram at Alex Tech Works. Anyways, let's get into this review. Right, let's kick things off with the form factor of the Logitech MX Master 3. It fits very comfortably in your hand, it's very ergonomic, all of the buttons, scroll wheels and everything is all in the right place. If you're looking to use a mouse for hours and hours on end, I'd highly recommend going for something like this. Its design and aesthetics are also, I mean, just look at it, it is immaculate. The build quality is exceptional, it's got a premium feel but it also is sturdy and elegant. Right, let's talk about its usability and main features. The MX Master 3 is a productivity powerhouse with its customizable buttons, you can assign each button a specific task, whether you're browsing through documents, editing on AutoCAD, editing photos, anything like that, and you want to automate a particular sequence to make things easier. Personally, I've changed these buttons so that it improves my workflow when using Premiere Pro. So I changed it to enter to start the sequence, copy and paste with two buttons, just making my life a hell of a lot easier with this mouse. To customize the buttons is an absolute breeze. All you need to do is download the Logitech app and then you can customize anything you like on there and save those settings so that when you're on another PC, you can import those settings and away you go. I briefly touched on the software, but I'd like to go into it with a bit more detail. The Logitech Options software takes the MX Master 3 to another level. You can fine tune the mouse performance adjusting sensitivity and creating custom profiles with different applications. You can also set certain parameters to make your life a lot easier when doing repetitive tasks. I personally think the predefined shortcuts are an absolute lifesaver. You can just flick between applications with just the touch of a button. One of the features that I use quite frequently is the flow feature that's available on the Logitech Options app. It means if you're using multiple PCs, you can flick between them, copy items across with just using the mouse itself. It's like having a magic wand for your digital workspace. One of the absolute standout features for the Logitech MX Master 3 is the MagSpeed scroll wheel, which you can see here. It offers ultra precise scrolling with the ability to switch between ratcheted and hyper fast scrolling modes. Its versatility comes in handy when you're navigating lengthy documents and you just want to get to the point really quickly. This scroll wheel has significantly improved my productivity. Trust me, you won't be going back to a normal scroll wheel once you've used this particular one. Now let's talk about the battery life of this mouse. There's no point having all of these fancy features if the battery life only lasts 5 minutes, but that is definitely not the case with this Logitech MX Master 3. The MX Master 3 comes with a USB-C charging port, which is most welcome for all modern users. And when it comes to the battery life itself, this particular mouse will last for 7 days of 8 hours use on each of those days. Now think about that, it has 2 months of full use without having to charge it. And even if you do need to charge it, you can plug it in, boost it up, and it will last you a couple of hours. So there's no worry about having to charge this every single day. I think it's fair to say that the battery of this Logitech MX Master 3 is something that doesn't need to be worried about. Right, I'm just, I'm just gonna give you some drawbacks of the Logitech MX Master 3, as no piece of tech is perfect. I mentioned previously that the ergonomics behind this mouse is perfect, but this is particularly important if you have small hands. Now, this might be too large for some, but for most people, this will be perfect. Additionally, the price point of this is on the expensive side, but I think all of the features, benefits, productivity increases outweighs that additional cost. Plus, you are going for a premium item that's worth investing in. Also, some users have 
had problems with connectivity and being able to connect to multiple devices. Now personally, I've never had an issue, but it's just something worth mentioning. Now it's all very well and good having all of these fancy features, but what's it like using it in real world conditions? Now I've used this mouse with engineering design, video editing, photo editing, almost everything. And it's fair to say that the comfort levels, additional features, flicking between different programs and the infinite scroll wheel has been an absolute godsend. Its customizable options has also really helped me out between different applications and speeding up my workflow. Personally, I think this is the mouse to go for. Whether you're a creative professional or multitasking guru, this mouse has got your back. In conclusion, the Logitech MX Master 3 is not just a mouse, it's a professional partner that's more than welcome on my desk. So, would I recommend the Logitech MX Master 3? Absolutely. This is a game changer of a mouse and it's certainly improved my productivity and workflow. There are a few minor drawbacks, but the features and benefits certainly outweigh those. This tool enhances your productivity and comfort. So if you're spending hours behind the screen, this is definitely something to consider. If you're looking to cop one of these Logitech MX Master 3 mouse, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Right, so that's it from me today. I really hope you enjoyed this long-term review of the Logitech MX Master 3. If you have any thoughts, leave them down in the comment section below what would also really help me out is if you smash that subscribe button hit that like button and also catch me a follow over on instagram it's all under alex tech works but that's it for me today and i hope i see you in the next one catch you later